Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we've got an unboxing from that place. And been waiting for these for a little bit. There's, I think, well, let me make sure. <laughs> make sure what's in here. Hello! What's in here first? Oh, there it is. The Brumby. Did you call me Grumpy? No, we're talking about the Brumby. So, we'll check these out. And, what else did we get? Ooh, we got Seahorse. We'll do those another time. But, we got two Brumbies. So, let's bust them out and check them out. Alright, so we got one of them out of the package. The first thing I can tell you is the typical thing. Look at that capsule. Woohoo! So I'm hoping that's just the capsule and that the horsey is just fine. So this is Perth Mint. This is awesome uh, to have a new uh, Perth Mint coin. It's kind of like, I would say, second tier uh, Perth Mint. This isn't like cream of the crop. Uh, yeah, I think on their top coins they wouldn't give you a capsule like this, I hope. Hello! Oh, we did that already. But there she is. So, I think this is neat, if you could see it. <clears throat> um, it's got um, different toning of the, kind of the frosting area. It's kind of sort of reverse proof. It's got like the polished um, devices, they call that. And uh, cool, we got the P for Perth Mint. Um, it doesn't really warrant going in with the scope, but we're going to bust it out of the capsule and make sure that it's um, okay. It's 4.9 silver. That's cool. But capsule just takes away from it. I tell you what, even her side is a little jacked. So let's take it out of here. I will put it on the scope just because, and we'll be back. All right, so let's see what we got here. We're already kind of... Got it started. But, uh, gee whiz. And at least it's okay. But yeah, that was kind of crumb bum on the, the old capsule. It does look pretty nice. I like it. So, I'm much cleaner now. So, I'll uh, put it in a fresh capsule. And then we'll uh, look at it on the scope. Ah, there it is. So, yeah. And. Yeah. Right, there's the horsey. And it's very reflective, of course. So, yeah, the slightest uh, change in light will um, affect that one. So, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it's made to emphasize the horse, uh, obviously. Uh, 25,000 minted, if I didn't say that already. So they are currently out of stock uh, at Atmex. Um, I do believe there's also a high relief version coming. So, more to come on the Brumby. Well, more to come from Perth Mint, that is. I think I'm about done on the Brumby. Uh, I don't know if I'll get the high relief, but this is cool. And, you know, 25,000 mintage is on the lower end of things. Uh, because it's a Perth Mint coin, of course, the demand is higher. Uh, there are coins like the other one that came in the package is the Seahorse, and there's only 10,000 minted of those. But the demand is obviously less because it's not as high profile as Perth Mint. So, anyway, that's the story on the Brumby. Actually, I've heard also, I think the Brumby, uh, not that I've done a lot of research or anything, but I think it originated in Ireland and is a transplant uh, to Australia. But uh, don't have my, my uh, entire facts to back that up. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Coin sense and nonsense. And until next time, bye, bye.